Hey guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So I've just done my makeup and curl my hair and I used a bunch of this Batiste uh, dry shampoo in Brilliant Blonde because although it's second day hair it's so greasy and I think it's all down to the shampoo and conditioner I'm using so currently I'm using my TG Catwalk Oatmeal and Honey shampoo and I don't think it works for my hair I mean it smells very lovely it's a nice texture product but it just makes my hair feel very heavy and kind of not clean if you know what I mean it just feels weighted down I have very fine hair and I feel like it's too heavy for my hair my hair is now full of dry shampoo and I don't like that I prefer the feeling of fresh hair not full of dry shampoo now I'm gonna go have some breakfast and I'll be out the weather today is horrible as you can expect it's raining it's gray it's drizzly and wet. It's raining, but it's more like misty because the raindrops are so small. So it's the worst and it's very windy. So basically spraying the rain in your face. Okay, let's start with my Kiehl's calendar. Always very easy for me to find what day it is. Day number five. Oh, a lip balm! I was waiting for this. I was waiting for a lip balm and uh, Midnight Recovery Concentrate because I love that. And I wa always wanted to try Kiehl's lip balms. My lips are always dry, so this will come in super handy. Mm, this one is a little bit more difficult. Here. Okay, what do we have here? A little milk chocolate with a teddy bear. I want to apply this Kiehl's lip balm right away. And the products are very decent size. I mean, I think this is a full, yeah, it's definitely a full size uh, lip balm. So it doesn't have any applicator. Oh, and it's like a very thick balm. Or like an ointment. Oh, but on the lips it feels very soft. It doesn't smell of anything at all. Oh wow, this feels amazing. It just feels so soft and comfortable. Mmm, super nice. <laughs> this morning not having eggs this time because I probably need to limit my protein intake might have them tomorrow I'm just having two loaves of rye bread feta cheese some extra cheese I added um, flakes of cheddar uh, cherry tomatoes come in some uh, rocket oh I should have added some avocado but I forgot and I cannot be bothered now and that is my coffee a lot of you guys always ask what do I use to froth my milk to get that super nice um, foam. So this milk frother I got I believe last vlogmas if I'm not mistaken from Urimi supermarket actually and it's from this Swedish Ica brand. Here we go Ica cook and eat it so it's basically a supermarket brand and it is really fantastic at frothing um, your milk. But I'm sure you can get those on Amazon. I mean, any brand would probably do the same thing. So it's been a little while now. I had my breakfast. I painted my nails with the color that I showed you guys yesterday. Tanya Burr's Sugar Plum. And then uh, I spent some time with my mom. I had to help her choose the food for her birthday, which is coming up. It's on 50th of uh, December and it's gonna be a big birthday party. 
33 people I believe, a musician, loads of food and uh, she had a list of foods that this uh, place does and she had to tick the options that she likes so she wanted me to go through the list, add or take the foods and uh, yeah so I did that with her. We chatted for a little bit and now I came back upstairs to uh, finish editing yesterday's vlog because it has to be up soon and I haven't finished editing yet but it's almost done. It's already getting dark outside which is so sad. I mean in winter we don't have any daylight almost at all. You wake up with darkness then you have a little bit of light and then in the afternoon it's dark again so by the evening it's pitch black outside. So I'll have to go out when it will be completely dark outside because now I'll have to spend a couple of hours um, editing the vlog, uploading it, doing the info bar. I will see you guys a bit later. Linda and drop her at her music school and then while she's in her class I'm gonna run my own errands and then pick her up Hi. <laughs> welcome to my studio um, I should probably remove the jacket because it's very bulky by the way this is my aviator jacket these are all over the place now like you know they're <laughs> probably the piece you see the most on instagram these aviator jackets and i got this one maybe six years ago i want to say like right across the street in mega plaza there is a designer shop called madas Lini, and they sell lots of brands like hugo boss tori birch armani max Mara, a bunch of different brands so it's from armani jeans and I believe I was at uni and I spent all my money on this jacket because I saw it, I fell in love with it. It's like fluffy on the inside. I loved it so much. I, I never ever regretted buying this jacket and yeah, I'm still wearing it like six years later. I absolutely love it and I'm kind of happy that they are super big at the moment. So yeah, that's my jacket. My scarf that I'm wearing today is from last year's Zara men's section. It's a woolly scarf, super nice. And this Baker Boy hat. And I'm also wearing my new uh, mango, super lovely uh, jumper. The lighting is a lot better here in my studio. It's much brighter, it's not yellow. So I decided to open these two parcels here. This one is from Book Depository, which is my favorite online bookshop i always get my books on book depository this one took so long to arrive i don't know why yeah i should actually do a book haul because i've collected quite a few i mean by quite a few i mean like 20 or 30 new books and they always include a bookmark which is very sweet so and <laughs> the book that i got is by sarah fraser you might recognize the last name if you watch outlander it's called The Last Highlander, Scotland's Most Notorious Clan Chief, Rebel and Double Agent. So, I told you I'm a little bit obsessed with Scotland, anything Scottish, Scottish history, I want to learn all about it. And uh, yeah, so I got this book. Oh, it even has some pictures. Nice. So I got this one. I got Scottish fairy tales. I got Scottish poems, like I'm crazy about it. I really want to go to Scotland so, so badly. I want to see the Highlands. I want to go to the Isle of Skye. I want to go to Edinburgh, Glasgow, I mean everywhere. And my aunt and her friends booked a ticket to Glasgow this year and I'm so jealous about it. Okay, let's open the second box. And... I have no idea what it is or who it is from. It's just a brown box. So let's open. What? 
Oh my god, it's from Charlotte Tilbury! Okay, it makes sense now. I completely forgot I ordered this during Black Friday. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot I got something from Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I remember now. Very well. So these are the little samples. It's so nice, you can choose from a ton of different samples at the checkout. So I got her Goddess Skin Clay Mask. Visibly lifts, smooths, brightens and tightens pores for baby skin. I've heard only good things about this face mask. And I also picked Mini Miracle Eye Wand. So we have an eye cream and a concealer on the other end. So this was a Black Friday deal. You could get this set very highly discounted and I was like, of course I have to get it. And it's a perfect Christmas gift for someone as well. Ooh. I mean, Charlotte's marketing is insane. It's the best beauty brand marketing I've ever seen. So this is a list of gifts from Charlotte Tilbury that you can get for someone. How amazing. So this was dreamy look in a palette or something? Ooh. Yeah, dreamy look in a clutch, not in a palette. So, I mean, look at her packaging. Isn't it insane? So this is the clutch. It's... Um, very nice quality actually. Look at all that leopard. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so I got this set just for the palette because I thought it's so me, like so so me. And you actually get quite a few products so let's go through them. Wow, you get a full size lipstick in here. But I don't remember what color it was. Ugh. Let's see. It is uh, Secret Salma. So Salma Hayek lipstick. <gasps> wow, this is beautiful. It's like a like a mauvey pink color. I actually don't think I even own a color like this. Plus, it's matte, and I've heard that Charlotte's matte lipsticks are like the best matte lipstick texture. Wow, this is so beautiful. I love it already. Then you get a mini pillow talk, I believe, is it? No, it's Bit and Kiss. So it's actually not a lip liner that you can get in her permanent line. It's a limited edition one uh, to go with the lipstick. And yeah, it's pretty much the exact same color of the lipstick and how cute. I mean, this is perfect for a small handbag. Then you get her legendary lashes. But I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it better. Look how pretty. I actually already tried her other mascara. I have a little sample full fat lashes and I wasn't impressed by it at all. So I hope this one will be better. Then you get a black eyeliner in bedroom black. This is super cute. It's actually um, a USB stick. Look at that in a shape of Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And I've heard that inside you have a tutorial on how to create a look using the product in this. And let's get the palette out. I mean, have you ever seen a more beautiful packaging? I know I haven't. This is insanely beautiful. And this one is uh, the Legendary Muse. Oh my God. <gasps> Wow, you guys, aren't these the most me colors ever? Wow, th this is stunning. I know I'm gonna wear this every day. So you have a color that's very similar to all the glitters from MAC, kind of a peachy champagne, then a, a very warm tone uh, golden color, then a sparkly champagne, and then a rose, like shimmery rose color. <gasps> These colors are gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. From the colors to the packaging, this is so me. This is stunning. Oh my god. I cannot wait to use all of these products. I'm so, so happy. I can't remember exactly how much I paid with a discount. 50 or 60 euros. The Black Friday offer is gone now anyway, and I'm not sure if they have this palette. I'm gonna have to look on her website, but as I said, I highly doubt that it will be available. This is stunning. Love it. Actually, 
let's do first impression tomorrow using this palette you know what for tomorrow's makeup I'm gonna use everything in this clutch so yeah um, that's everything I had to show you guys here's my full outfit I kind of look like a train conductor or a pilot <laughs> one of those by the way my bad this hat is actually from Zara not from H&M but from a year ago um, Scarf is Zara Men, Mango Jumper, uh, Zara Follow Their Leggings, and these shoes are again from a couple of years ago from Stradivarius. And I'm wearing leopard print woolly socks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my entire look. Carrying my Chloe Drew bag, my favorite. <laughs> These are Calvin Klein jeans, super nice. Came to buy some snacks and some veggies. back home I'm so hungry and uh, my family is waiting for me to watch the new season of Vikings that is my parents my brother and I we love Vikings we watch it together and the new season is out we've got I think three episodes to watch um, and I went snack shopping I was hungry again so I got a bunch of snacks a lot of the same things because you know I'm a Creature of habit, I always eat the same things. So I got the wasabi snacks. My mom said these are the most disgusting thing she's ever eaten. And she said, do you want to kill me or what? My dad loved them. I got Lithuanian bread crisps, Greek style. These are amazing. Perfect to have with a salad. Cherry tomatoes. I got some dried beef chips. I love dried beef. Uh, some rocket so that's what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a big bowl of salad with rocket cherry tomatoes beef um, then I got some bread the exact same bread and then this one which is another bread that I love 
my feta cheese because I've eaten all of it. Eaten two of those with Linda, so I have two more. And then my favorite um, jelly gums or gummies. These are Haribo uh, strawberry sour strawberry laces. I wish they were not coated in sugar, but whatever. Suitable for vegetarians. Mm, interesting. I love them. So yeah, I'm gonna make my food really quickly and go to watch Vikings. That is going to be my dinner, two loaves of rye bread with seeds. This is my salad, um, rocket cherry tomatoes, feta, dried beef, uh, cumin seeds, lots of lemons, salt and pepper. What else? You could add avocados, but I didn't, and some olive oil, and then these bread crisps. Mm, so good. Mm. Mm. No, I Hey guys, so we watched Vikings with the family. The first episode of the new season was so brutal. I mean, Vikings in general is a very brutal TV show, but it was hard to watch. Um, I still like it though. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm importing footage from today's Vlogmas. I It's already past midnight, so I don't know if I'm gonna start editing tonight or leave everything for tomorrow. It's always much easier for me if I do a little bit of editing in the evening um, and don't just leave everything <laughs> for the next day. By the way, tiniest polish has already chipped this nail. It's chipped, why? I don't get it. And all the other nails, like the edges have worn off in one day, so that's a bit disappointing. I wanted to show you guys one thing. So if you watched my Christmas gift guide, if you didn't, please do. I'm gonna link it down below. I think it's, I personally think it's a very nice gift guide if I do say so myself. But I mentioned these uh, fragrance lamps in there and I've been so hooked on this lamp. Uh, I love using it, especially at this period when it's super 
dark and windy and cold outside and you just want to create a very homely cozy atmosphere at home um, so I'm gonna show you how to use it these are by Ashley and Burwood you can get these on their own website they're from the UK and in Lithuania you can get them on Madame Juju website I'm gonna link it down below actually Gabriele the owner of Madame Juju kindly gave you guys 10% off so you can use a uh, coupon code CHANELET at the checkout up until the 31st of December and you can get anything off her website with 10% off. I'm afraid it's uh, she only ships in Lithuania. Well, at least I think so. So you take this cap off, then you remove the wick and you can get any scent you want. She has so many scents to choose from. So the ones that I have are amber and tonka bean. So it, it also has lavender in it. This is a very nice kind of autumnal scent. Um, but these past few days I've been using the relaxation one, which is essential oils of geranium, lavender and sage. And yeah, it just smells very kind of relaxing and these also purify the air at the same time. So this is the box they come in. I'm gonna pour a little bit of liquid in here and use a very small amount. Be careful because the first time I use them, I, I used too much of the liquid. And um, yeah, basically, okay, I'm gonna show you how much I pour. Like this much is enough for my entire room. I actually think it's a bit too much. So normally you have to put the wick back in and wait for it to, you know, soak to get completely wet. But what I do, I just simply put it into the bottle like that. The other side. Okay. Make sure it's all completely wet. Otherwise the carlin will burn. And you insert it back into the lamp. You have to wash your hands after. Okay, so what you do now, you light the stone. This little bit here is called the stone. So you light it up, the flame is quite big. You let it burn for from one to three minutes. I'm gonna demonstrate. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna let it burn for, for a little bit. And then you have to blow out the flame. By the way, never put the cap onto the flame <laughs> itself. Just wait till you blow it out and then put it on. So once you blow out the flame, the stone will remain hot and what it does, it basically extracts uh, the scent and it evaporates into the air, scenting your whole room and uh, for one meter square, one minute is enough. So depending on the size of your home or your room, um, you can kind of assume how long you have to keep it burning for. So now I've blown it out and then you put the cap on and put it anywhere in your room and it's gonna scent your room for as long as there's liquid. So just wanted to share that and uh, to urge you guys to take advantage of 10% off because these would make for such an amazing Christmas gift. By the way, all of them have different names. So I believe mine is called Golden Sunset and you can even check out on Ashley and Burwood website to see like the entire collection. If you don't like this mosaic sparkly ones, they have Murano glass ones, they have ceramic ones, so many different ones to choose from. And yeah, they're, they're so, so beautiful. So guys, it's the giveaway time. Uh, probably for some the most exciting part of the Vlogmas video. So um, today's giveaway is this product from Institute Estadome which is a skincare brand you guys probably have already noticed that I love. Um, and it's their Eau Cellulaire, which is a cellular water. So it's not your usual thermal mist. I actually have this exact same one on my bedside table because I do have dehydrated skin. So every once in a while I, I would just grab it and spray my skin. Like so. So I'm going to tell you what it does. It's a... Uh, Cellular water provides the skin with the energy it requires daily 
to function at its full potential and remain radiantly healthy. Upon application, cellular water works like a genuine energy bomb, restoring freshness, radiance, and vitality to the skin. So you can apply it anytime, anywhere. If your skin feels dry or uh, as a toner before applying your skincare. And this is what it looks like. It's perfect uh, for hot climate as well. Yeah, this is the prize of the day. You guys know the rules already. Follow me on Instagram. That is my Instagram. Like this picture. Um, use the hashtag Chanel at Vlogmas and tag a friend. But it has to be a friend that you haven't tagged in the previous posts. Um, when I choose the winner, I'm gonna check... Uh, his or her comments on the previous post to see if uh, they tagged the same friend or not so every time it has to be a new friend or a new person um, that inspires you or celebrity I mean anyone you want to tag basically but I think it would be nice to tag a friend because then your friend can enter the giveaway as well and can win the prize and maybe you can share if it's for example like yesterday six lipsticks so you can share with your friends um, so yeah, that is the prize of the day. Wait for the end of the video to find out who won uh, my next lipstick set. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.